times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good, step back, good luck. Not a chance. Tito right there. Tito, 16th right there. time John McCarthy Tito, has right refereed there. a Tito Ortiz fight. Perfect. You ready? Just the second time he's been in with Jail Sonnen. The fight clock in the main event brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. It's Miller time. Take down by Tito. Nice sweep by Chael. He has a great guillotine if he can get on top and use it. Angling off, getting in Darce choke position. Saw the grip change in good position. And his hips getting out to the side. Now he's really going for it. Look for him to sit that right hip down. Doesn't have it all the way yet. And he knew it. Up on it, yep. Didn't want to waste a lot of energy early. He's in half guard. Hard to finish this in half guard. He's giving the thumbs up. Come from the hips. Half guard, that's hard to finish. Shell's cranking on it though. He's out. This is exactly where Shell didn't want to be. Full mount. Stepped over. Tito inching towards that legendary Hall of Fame ground and pound. He's been known for throughout his career, his top pressure. Now he's on the back. And this is a bad start for Chael Sonnen. Tito had to start early and he did. Is he under the chin? He is not, but Tito might be strong enough to finish anyway. Especially early in the fight, they're dry. Tito strong. That's it. Got him. And it wasn't even close. Tito Ortiz writes his fairy tale ending. As soon as he was on top. That's when you knew, bad night for Chael Sonnen. Hadn't fought in three years, he found himself mounted early. Tito never let him off the hook. No one is sitting. This is a curtain call. When I think about the number of fighters I've seen retire, and it's been a lot, they get to go out with the win, get to go out with a crowd like this, not a mark on his face. That's how you want to go out. That's how you want to finish your career. So few get that opportunity. Tito Ortiz started this fight in a bad spot, Jim. Let's check out the Black Heart Premium Spice Rum replay, the bold 93 proof rub. It's edgy to the core. He escapes the guillotine. Remember, this is from half guard, so not a ton of danger. As soon as he was out, transitioned to full mount, started the ground and pound, and Chael gave up his back. And you ask, is it going to get under the chin? It didn't need to be under the chin. Dry, strong Tito Ortiz, no fatigue. He was able to crank hard enough that Chael Sonnen, he held out as long as he could. And he is purple at this point. You'll see the tap right here. That is all short. And Tito, not letting this go. Checkmate. Big, yeah, big John McCarthy had to jump in and separate Tito because he was not letting go without a fight. <laughs> 19 years after Tito Ortiz was beaten quickly by Chael Sonnen, it finally comes around. What will Tito Ortiz's final words inside the cage be? He'll be with Jimmy Smith when we return 
a legendary Hall of Fame career ends in legendary fashion. A curtain call for the ages. Everyone sort of soaking it all in. The final night for Tito Ortiz was exactly the way he planned it. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a rear naked choke. Official time, two minutes, three seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, the longtime Huntington Beach bad boy now. The People's Champion, Tito Ortiz! I'm here with your winner, and for the last time, Tito Ortiz. Tito, all the talk, all the emotions, all the smack, all the interviews, that choke, that tap must have felt pretty good. Uh, I felt really, really good. Um, everything we went on through this whole fight, all we did through camp. Uh, Rafael Davis, one of my sparring partners, one of my best friends, we started this together. We wrestled at Cal State Bankfield together. We had this whole camp together. Scott Kraft, our student Scott Carr, from uh, Gracie Bar Jiu Jitsu, master there. Was, we worked his mount position, we worked his pass position. We worked the defense of the guillotine. We knew we had a guillotine. We worked position from back. I knew I'd get the choke because I know he doesn't want to get pounded by me. I know he doesn't want to be on bottom and taking elbows from me. Jason Perillo got my hands working super fast, got my feet moving, working, moving super fast. So um, I knew if I shot on Shale, he's not going to be super strong. So I know I could fight the positions. And we worked on the guillotine position, getting out of it. He never got, never had me. As I said, I took thumbs up, I'm good. It was never tight. I'm just, I'm happy that I'm able to do this in a respectful way in front of my hometown. Los Angeles, thank you guys very, very much. The last fight, the last camp, the last submission win after all you've been through all in your career. What are you going through right now, man? I don't think emotions have really set in. Um, 
I think I kind of said it when I walked down the stage. I was down the stage and I give my son Jacob right here a hug and he had tears in his eyes and put tears in my eyes. And to have my son here next to me, you know, I never wanted to give him an opportunity of seeing him fight because I see the fear he had in his heart. Um, but now I seen the positive attitude that he had that saying, yes, dad, go kick his butt. And I was able to do it for him and I seen the tears in his eyes. And like I said, my son Jesse and Journey at home, they'll be watching this. I love you boys. Ortiz rules! Ladies and gentlemen, I want everybody to get up for this man in his final fight. The Huntington Beach bad boy, the people's champion, whatever you want to call him, he's a legend, Tito Ortiz. Everyone, uh, this will be the last time I'll be in this cage. So as we do in wrestling, usually you retire your wrestling shoes. Tonight, January 21st, 2017, I'm gonna let my son lay these gloves down right here in the Bellator cage, because this is the last time that I'll be fighting. Thank you guys for the support for 20 years. Scott Coker, Kevin K, Bellator, Spike, Viacom, thank you fans, the millions of fans that are watching on TV. Everybody who sold this house out, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I was a kid who came from nothing. Thank you to my mom, I dedicate this fight to you, mother. If it wasn't for you, I could never make the decision as a parent that I made for my children on 2013. And I made that decision, and my children are thriving like none other. Amber McCole Miller, I love you very much, girl. You're gonna be my girl for the rest of my life. Thank you so much. Give it up for Tino Ortiz, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to protect yourself at all times. You obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard and fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck to both of you. Yeah, right. I don't know Big why John. you even said that. <laughs> oh, Gotta man. have formality. Yeah. Big John McCarthy overseeing this, the second of our two main events. It's time to do their talking. You ready? You ready? With you their, their fists, their feet. And Chael Sonnen, Vanderlei Silva, grudge match years in the making. No surprise, Sonnen exploding for the takedown, and he gets it early, Jimmy. We knew we'd see it fast. It was in the first 10 seconds. Ground and pound by Sonnen in the opening 30 seconds. Of this, our main event scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. This is what he's great at, ground and pound in the dominant position. He's hanging some great right hands. We talked about potential cage corrosion for Silva coming off the longest layoff of his more than 20-year career, 1,574 days, Jimmy. And right now, he he's is feeling, in trouble. He's feeling every single one of those days right now. And something's all over him. Dropping right hands. Now something that may be overlooked because of his ferocious striking, Vanderlei Silva is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, Jim. Yeah, he is, and you can see him kind of angling for the arm. But the pressure that Chael Sonnen is putting on him is not making submissions an option right now. Silva's doing everything he can to just stay in this fight, but right now, Sonnen all over him. Well, Chael Sonnen said, coming off the loss to Ortiz, that he was defeated by the worst fighter there is. That just makes him even worse. So not only is he looking to redeem himself, but of course he wants to put an end to this rivalry that has been years in the making. Now, Vanderly had to know at some point he was going to be in this position, on his back, trying to survive. Maybe not this early. Yeah, maybe not this early, but, but Sonnen, test is your mentality. Yeah. You start thinking, oh. look, I know I'm gonna have to deal with this event. Old school can the, opener. Yeah, going for the can opener. Watch your fingers. There you go. Problem is you can give up an arm right there if the guy can angle his hips, but he lets it go. So Jail Sunny content and just mulling Vanderlei Silva up against the fence, dropping short, slashing elbows. And again. Vanderlei Silva, 40 years of age, the oldest competitor here tonight, slightly older than Fedor Emelianenko, who we saw get stopped early by Matt Mitrione in the first of our double main events. So far, this is a wipeout halfway through the first round. Chel Sonnen all over him. Vanderlei's got to figure out something. He's able to push it and get up. Up to his feet. With two minutes and 15 seconds left in the opening round, but Sonnen stuck to him like Velcro. 
Don't expect him to give Vanderlei Silva any space at all. He's in Greco country right now. This is where he loves to fight. In close, dirty box. Now Silva can angle away, and he does. And Silva just landed a right hand, sudden from southpaw. Silva creating distance. Son oh, yeah. The legs went right out from under Chael Sonnen. The best of times and worst of times for each of these two veterans here in round one. 90 seconds left in the first round. Uh, 30 seconds ago, looks like it might be the end for Vandalus soon, then he comes back. 25 of Silva's 35 victories have come via form of knockout. Sonnen, good job tripping the hips. And now Sonnen with the takedown. Silva looking for the guillotine choke. Now he's able to get around the guard. Without the guard, he's not going to get that guillotine. And now Sonnen from half guard. Lock up the Kimura. He's trying to isolate the wrist. Final minute of the first round. For a second, he's going to transition to full mount. Wasn't able to get it. This is the point in the fight. Near the end of the first round, those emotions burn away. Yes. It's all about the training, your cardio, your technique. At the end of the day, yeah. it is still a fight. Exactly. You can't fight with words. Exactly. And Sonnen hoping to punctuate his performance in the opening round. He started well, suffered a bit of trouble in the middle part of the round, and now looking to close out the round in dominant position. Five of Sonnen's 28 victories have been via submission, but he, he doesn't want to submit Vanderlei Silva. He wants to knock him out. Yeah, but I think at this point, he'll take whatever he can get. He felt that power. Yep. If he can submit him, he'll take it. Make no mistake. Tito Ortiz fired up about the action. <laughs> Tito Ortiz trying to really talk feel? Yeah, How do you really feel about it? You got clipped, and even on pay-per-view, I won't say the other word. Back and forth. You know, I think the over-under on the double leg was 15 seconds. <laughs> All of, oh, I think it would be 10 seconds. Over 15 was, was uh, you're going to make some money, but Chael Sonnen, beautiful ground and pound, powerful, great right hands, changing it up, going body head. And Vanderlei hanging on. Thought he might get a fight finishing strike there, but look at this. Oh, popped oh, Right. Right over the ear, took away the balance of Chael Sonnen. Wasn't a sharp shot, just an overhand. Look at that, bing. Not even turned over that sharp, but anything around the ear, your equilibrium yeah, completely equilibrium. goes. So an interesting opening five minutes as the party continues here at MSG. People having a fantastic time, an amazing crowd here at Madison Square Garden for Bellator's biggest event ever as Sonnen comes in the attack. He clipped Vanderlei, and now they're swinging for the fences at Madison Square Garden, and Sonnen, the smart thing, changes levels, takes him down. That, that left hand hurt him. How'd you score the opening five, Jim? I had a 10-9 chill, Sonnen, just in dominant position longer, but he's in the guillotine now. Can Vanderlei finish? He would love to finish this via submission. Almost as satisfying as a knockout. Joe's doing everything he can. The one thing about the Geets, if you don't get it, man, it costs you a lot of gas. Vanderlei so always breathing heavy. Submitted by Tito Ortiz via rear naked choke at Bellator 170. This past January, and Let's go. these two veterans both may be taking a, a breather referee, imploring them to Improved position. And one thing is, Silva might be waiting for a stand-up here. Knows he can't finish the key team, but maybe Let's looking go. for a stand-up. And already breathing with Work his out. mouth open. Very, very heavy. So stalemate. And this is not the mannequin challenge, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like that right now. Son is in, is in trouble. Can't pull out his left hand. Oh, is he even attempting? Yeah. 
Yeah. You see him shaking. He's yeah. trying to rip that hand off. And able to pull his head out. So far, he can't do it. And because it is a submission attempt, really, the referee is... Exactly. He can't, he can't stand him up. Yeah. Hard to do that. And at this point, just hanging on. And sudden attack. Wow. Another crowd will celebrate that, Tito Ortiz. Ortiz is shutting the instructions of Vanderlei Silva. And on cue, Ortiz said, watch out for the double leg. And Sonnen explodes again for the power double. Anybody can say that. Everybody watching <laughs> is saying the same thing. I know Tito knows wrestling, but uh, you know Chael's going to go for the double right. leg. And now ground and pound by Chael Sonnen. 245 left in the second round. So far, virtually no sprawl by Vanderlei Silva. No answer to that double leg. They've been easy every time. Sonnen continues to try to punish Vanderlei Silva from top position, wide base in the close guard. Silva trying to control his posture. Now cuffing him on the ears with a palm strike. A pancreas for you there, Jimmy. Hey, old school. Got to give a shout out to the pancreas vets, including Frank Shamrock, who's in attendance tonight. And I know El Wapa Boss Rune is watching at home. There really sums it up, but doesn't it, Jimmy? This card is my everything, all <laughs> of it right it's here. I love crazy, you. It's crazy, man. It has been a night where you never know what to expect. It's all happened. A double knockdown. Wow. Now Jim comes back to what about knockout fatal. Zach knockout Freeman. Freeman. Yeah, everything. Everything. Every fight. Brent Primus. We saw Lorenz Larkin losing his Bellator in the May debut to welterweight champion Douglas Lima. By the way, Ryan Bader, new Bellator light heavyweight champion to close up Bellator 180. And we will be hearing from the new light heavyweight champ still to come. Sorry, Jimmy. Now, this is the problem that the Vandalay's had. He hasn't been able to create space. That close guard position, he can sometimes keep Chelsea close to him, but can't push off and really get space. But the positioning Chelsea kept so much weight on him. Right, and this does behoove Sonnen, though, to keep so uh, Silva there against the fence. Exactly. No real estate. And he's content to just keep peppering away here in the final minute of round number two. Punches don't quite have the sting that they had in the opening round. But Chael still positionally dominant. These two got into a full flex fight on the set of the Ultimate Fighter Brazil 3. Sonnen even said that Silva attacked him in front of his wife. So, I mean, there have been many hostilities leading up to this fight here tonight. Come on, let's work. Referee McCarthy imploring them to work. You know where Vanderly wants this back on the feet. Maybe sure. he can land that left hook Chale. again. He's hurt Chael a couple of times, but hasn't been able to keep the fight standing. Now Sonnen continues to stymie Vanderlei Silva. Right. Round two. Vanderlei, you gotta get yourself out there, baby. That's this so much. Well, Jimmy, you, of course, a long time uh, voice of Bellator MMA. I will, I will give you the honors. What a night in New York. Very close fight between Ryan Bader and Phil Davis. Brent Primus winning the title over Michael Chandler, an incredibly devastating injury to his ankle. And then Matt Mitrione knocking out Fedor Emelianenko after a double knockdown. This has been the story of the fight. Vanderlei Silva able to hurt Chael Sonnen on the feet. Has rocked him more than once, but Chael Sonnen tenacious with the takedown. Vanderlei Silva hasn't been able to keep this fight where he wants it because of that double A. Good penetration on the shot and virtually no takedown defense to speak of from Vanderlei Silva. It's been easy every time. You ready? 
So it comes down to this, the final five minutes of the second of our double main event here at Bellator's debut at Madison Square Garden, Bellator NYC and Vanderlei Silva sense of urgency, the knee in the right hand, and again, sudden exploding for the takedown, wash, rinse, repeat. I expect him to do anything different as long as it's working. Jail Sonnen looking to move to full mount. Silva shrimping his hips and now has half butterfly guard. But what, what does Silva have to do? I know easier said than done, Jimmy, but what, what can Silva do to, to reverse his fortunes here? In those brief half butterfly guard positions, he to push off and get space. He's been too comfortable keeping Jail close to him. from a lot of close guard. Look at that stat, Jimmy. That, that tells the whole story. Too much pressure by Chael Sonnen. So Sonnen looking to bounce back from an ignominious defeat in his Bellator debut. Vanderlei Silva looking to succeed after the longest layoff of his career in his Bellator debut, but he's off. He's, he's looking up at Chael Sonnen now. Off his back, a minute and a half, gone. Exactly where he didn't want to be. Don't expect Chelsea to wear out in this position. This is his bread and butter. Now Silva trying to defend what appears to be maybe a, an attempt at a, an arm lock by Sonnen. No Sonnen just content to continue reigning in the right hands. Now he will not give up this position for anything. He won't risk any submission that might get him out of this top position. He won't do it. Play it safe. It looks like he is going for the double wrist lock. And maybe an attempt at a Kimura here, Doug. Yep. He's got the lock. He's got yeah. to get around the half guard to use it. Couldn't do it. Silva just needs to explode his hips somehow again. Been through so many wars, so many miles on the odometer. Is that explosive ability still there? So far, we haven't seen it. That's the midpoint of the final round. And again, Sonnen fishing for that. Kimura. Silva desperately trying to squirm out from underneath Chael Sonnen's blanket. Chael's a veteran who knows how much activity level is required to keep this fight on the ground. He's going to stay right there. Punch what, just enough. Go one thing I'm a little surprised at, Jimmy, is that even here, that Sonnen is not maybe trash talking more. Like he is, he really is, once the bell goes, focused on the fight. Yeah, I think he's a little tired <laughs> to be talking and fighting at the same time. He probably has more energy than he has right now. And it's hard work. And he is desperately working for that Kimura. See, Mandela just holding on. Everything about his posture, everything about his guard is just trying to stay close. 90 seconds left in this fight. Vanderlei putting his hands up, pleading with the referee, but I mean, he's. Sonnen's doing work. Now, full mount. He has a minute 15 left to get something done. But Chael Sonnen has just been tenacious with his top game. It's work to a finish. Let's go. Coming up on the final 60 seconds of this main event. Hey, don't forget, Bellator will return to Thackerville with a pair of power-punching lightweight contenders. Derek Campos, Brandon Gertz will throw down in a rematch for a spot atop one of our most stacked divisions. Bellator MMA, Friday, July 14th, 9 p.m., live on Spike. Final 45 seconds of the fight. Now he's looking, for, looking to... Big John for help, but Vandalay's got to help himself. He has to create some space that he hasn't been able to do throughout this entire fight. Well, Jail Sonnen able to impose his game plan on Vanderlei Silva. And the clock continues to tick away. Final 20 seconds. And it very much, as the shoulder strikes from Sonnen, looks like Sonnen it's going to improve to one and one in Bellator MMA, and it appears he has gotten the best of the axe murderer, Vanderlei Silva.
As a very frustrated Vanderlei Silva. I would even say disgusted. Well, but to be fair to Jail, no, Jail did, did, did a great job. So Jail did a great job. Vanderlei Silva can, you know, maybe work on the takedown defense a little more. Yeah, because he could not stop any of those double legs. That was the story of the fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice what day of the week is it? It's uh, Sunday. <laughs> So Jail Sonnen talk the talk and uh, here tonight definitely walk the walk. Here's our Blackheart Premium Spiced Rum replay, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core. Don't just look at the takedown, look how easy the takedown was. The hips never go back for Vanderlei Silva, who's never, never able to get his sprawl going. Easy penetration double legs. As long as you let Chael Sonnen do this, you're never going to win the fight because he has such heavy top pressure. Vanderlei Silva on the bottom the entire time, never able to get his own game going. When he was on the feet, he was able to hurt Chael a couple of times, but most of the fight was right here. Chael Sonnen on top, Vanderlei frustrated underneath. Oh, look at Chael Sonnen and Tito Ortiz exchanging words. Sudden uh, calling out to Randy Couture. Oh, Jail was looking for some uh, H2O and getting the thumbs up from Randy Couture. So a much better performance for Jail Sudden in his second outing here in the Bellator MMA cage, but uh, something tells me that this rivalry is far from over as we look at the CompuStrike total strikes landed. One-sided for Jail Sonnen. And we await the official decision. Well, we won't wait any longer. Here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance inside the Bellator cage, we'll go to your three judges. Your first judge, Sal Diamato, scores the fight 30 to 26, while judges Jeff Mullen and Dave Torelli both see the fight the same 30 to 27. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision. Chael, the American gangster, Sonnen. Can't be surprised. Unanimous decision win for Chael Sonnen. Here's Jimmy. Chael, I know you didn't get the finish you wanted, but a dominant performance for the bad guy. How does it feel? You know, I look around this arena, and aside from soon-to-be world champion Nick Skowski, all I can think to myself is, God damn, I hate New York. Oh, whoa. It looked like the bad blood is still there, Chael. Did you feel it in the fight? I made Tina Ortiz tap out in less than a minute. I got Vandalay Silva out of here in the main event. And when it comes to you, Fedor Emelianenko, I, know, I, I only know. need one shot. Now, you asked me for an autograph in the back. I patted you on your doughy head and told you I'd think about it. But I've made my decision. I'll give you that signature. But it's going to be on the bottom of a contract, and you're going to find out just like Vandalay and Tito. You never piss off a gangster. And you just heard it. Chael Sonnen, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, you know the rules. I do expect a clean fight. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Good luck to you both. Referee Blake Grice. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. It's eight right now. Soon it will be seven. Rampage, the American Yo, gangster. You ready? You ready? Fight. Here we go. Tonight's fight club brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Southpaw Chael Sonnen in the blue gloves. Rampage in the red gloves. Chael's doing a good job coming out, utilizing footwork, bouncing around, moving. Big overhand left. He needs to keep throwing that, keep Rampage off balance. Rampage likes to tuck and roll and come in with a left hook or a right overhand. And when he hits, he hits like a Mack truck. Tuck and roll Mike Tyson style. Rampage has scored some of the most vicious knockouts in MMA history. Chael 
had never fought before tonight, and it's just starting, John, it never fought or even wrestled at heavyweight. <laughs> you know, it, it is a different feel for him. But he's a guy that would fight anybody, anywhere. He has fought the very best out there. Look, at, when you go five rounds with Anderson Silva and you win four of them easily, some of them 10-8, that's saying that you know what, you can fight. The one thing that Chael can't get hit is with power. Power is going to hurt him. It's going to cause him to stop his attack. And when he stops his attack, that's going to be trouble. That overhand left has landed a couple of times early for Chael. Started training with Dan Henderson in 1999, a professional since age 19, the old team quest with Randy Couture and company. Big shots by Rampage. The one thing that Chaz really got going for him here is he doesn't worry about Rampage taking down. He knows that Rampage wants to stand and throw. Rampage knows that Chael wants to take it down, but right now, Chael's not forcing the takedown. This is a smart game plan. This is smart fighting by Chael. Rampage and Bobby Rimmer have always had a great relationship. You saw some of the social media posts and digital media that we did for you prior to this fight. You can see they have a lot of fun too, Rimmer and Rampage. They clinch for the first time. See, and that was a good move to clinch, and immediately Rampage turned him around, which is smart for Rampage. Chael has his hands clasped together. He's got an S grip right now. That's not gonna, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's Quentin Jackson. Yeah, they're picking him up, dropping him down, saying, oh, get up. Why every time Quentin fights do we go, Ricardo Arona, Ricardo Arona. Look at he, <laughs> he has a lower back made out of cable. It is unbelievable how strong his back is. And he can do that to anybody. Round one of three five-minute rounds scheduled. And this our first battle in the 2018 Bellator Heavyweight Grand Prix. Chael tried the flying knee. Nice move by Chael, man. He's opening up, he's doing different attacks. That's gonna keep Quinton a little bit unsure and not so quick with those hands coming out. Again, nice over the hand. top, that left has landed, John. It has landed multiple times, and that's exactly what Chael needs to do. Just keep touching him. Don't think you're gonna knock him out. The guy has got a granite chin. But if I touch him enough, it will slow him down to where I can do whatever I want. The winner of this fight will meet the winner of Frank Mir and Fedor Emelianenko. They fight in Chicago April 28th. That's going to be just an incredible fight between the ex-Pride heavyweight champion and the ex-UFC heavyweight champion. Big country, Matt Mitrione, Ryan Bader, King Mo, the other side of the bracket. Good Chael right striking looks sharp. He's doing good because he's keeping his hands busy. He's not waiting. He's not that right there. Good attack by Rampage, but Chael is keeping those hands going, which is keeping Quinton from being offensive. It's a good attack by Chael. And at $10,000 per takedown, so far Rampage is okay. <laughs> good thing that Chael doesn't have to pay Rampage for the takedowns he gets. He'll be 10,000 down. Again, low, high, and there we go. There's one. This is a great position. Chael has outstanding submissions, but he doesn't have a whole lot of time left in the round. There's only 30 seconds left now. Quinn's gonna sit there, grab wrist, try to just ride this out from this position. This could go, especially late in the round, put Chael Sonnen up one love. Right now, Chael is squeezing more head than he is neck, and that's not gonna get it. Rampage does a good job of turning out, gets the underhook. The chair can go for that guillotine. Final seconds of round one. He is the last emperor, the former Pride heavyweight champion in Pride. 14 wins, one no contest. Round two. Rampage in the red, Chael in the blue. Big swing and a couple of misses by Rampage. Notice that this is where that size difference, even though Chael says size doesn't make a difference, you saw how Rampage just turns him around. That is what that size will do for you. If they break and strike again, Rampage's corner, Bobby Rimmer and Tiki were saying, look for the right, look for the right. 
Right now, Chael's being hesitant <laughs> bringing up that leg, trying for a knee, because the last time he got high crotch right, tied up by Rampage and brought straight down to the ground. It doesn't feel good. It does shock the body, and he's trying to keep himself in a position where he's safe. Ryan Bader, you know, talking earlier with Jay and Josh and saying this is, you know, perhaps the most exciting thing in MMA right now. I don't think it's perhaps. I think this is because they are legendary fighters who want to continue to develop and state their legacy. Well, they're both, I mean, look at this heavyweight Grand Prix. This is, it's awesome when you look Let's at go, who's in it and what it's going to prove. Rampage has been fighting 50 to fight. Beautiful inside trip by Chael Sonnen to get the takedown. Now he's in the top position. This is where he wants to be. So that's perhaps 20,000. <laughs> it might be $20,000 down. <laughs> if any of our fans on Paramount Network, CMT around the world don't know the deal, Rampage said he will give Chael Sonnen $10,000 per takedown. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter though. It's who walks away and advances to round two. The real question is, is he going to say, "Well, I got you down, so that's ten thousand uh, dollars." fair. What you see from Chael Sonnen, that's what we call a can opener. He's starting to, you know, bring his hands together. It's not the smartest thing. It does open the guard. Quinn's in an open guard right now. This is a good position for him. Chael's going after him, trying to land the big shot, trying to keep his head up high. It's all smart, good ground fighting by Chael Sonnen. Here he's passing the leg, steps over it. Beautiful job of getting himself right into a half guard. Rampage has clearly stated it over and over. I'm an alpha male, that's how I fight. We just surpassed the midway point of this three round fight. But Chael is in that half guard and he's utilizing a good shoulder pressure with his right shoulder. We're going to clock right across Rampage's chin and neck, but it's not going to stop Rampage Jackson. It's not going to keep him from doing anything. Right now, Rampage is almost just kind of waiting, waiting to see if he can let the referee stand him up. Same Kimura that Chael tried to get Vanderlei Silva in right here. He needs to extend that arm, bring it back. He needs, if he can get his right leg over the top of Quinton's head, that's gonna bring Quinton's head up, give him room to move that arm back, and that Kimura can happen. Between the UFC and Bellator, Chael, six fights at light heavyweight, 10 at middleweight. Tonight, weighing the 222, 222 pounds in this heavyweight fight against Rampage, utilizing the Turk, and nobody did it better than Randy Couture, his old teammate. His old teammate, the, the, the only guy that Chael says, I'm afraid of him. <laughs> That was when I met you back in 1997, Shin Yokohama, Japan. Yeah, a long time ago. All of us are old guys now. <laughs> yes, indeed we are. Randy Couture, Maurice Smith. It's really a nice job of what Chael is doing. His ability to position on top of Rampage. He's got great hip pressure down. He's got the half guard. He's not trying to move past the half guard. He keeps attacking that Kimura, but I don't think he's going to complete it from this position. Quinn needs to move his hips, start to shrip his hips out towards the left and get himself back to either a full guard or start to scramble out of the position. All right, for a quick second, put on your referee hat. Chael staying busy enough for Blake Christ to let them continue here? Well, with what Chael's doing when he's isolating the arm, that's where Blake is starting to stall out. Let's go, guys. This is work. Final seconds of the second. This is Bellator MMA on Paramount Network. Let's go, guys. Two takedowns so far in the fight for Chael Sonnen. Yes, it was. A beautiful outside trip, tripping the leg there when he got him down. And they can look at a completely different inside trip on that one. That's just basic wrestling, but he's doing it well. Five minutes remain.
Rampage knows he's down. He knows he needs to hurt Chael. Good job of Chael closing the distance on him. Chael again gets the grip. It's got an S grip over under. It's not a great position as far as getting him down, but he keeps on being able to sweep that leg. He gets a hook on the outside, hook on the inside for an inside or outside trip. It's working well for him. He cannot do it where he's got his back on the fence right now. Stay busy, guys. Let's go work. The winner tonight fights the winner of Fedor and Frank Mir. Fedor, King Mo. Big country and Matt Mitrio shorts, Thank you. watching very closely as well. I got you. One minute into the third and final round. Now, both fighters right now, neither one's doing much when you look at Chell. Chell's just sitting there holding position and saying, hey, as the time goes down, this is great for me. Quit needs to separate and look for that big shot now. There you go, opening up. Can Rampage do damage this close? He can if Chael starts to just grab his head like this is not a smart thing for Chael to do. Chael's starting to do what we call a front naked choke, but it's not going to work in this position where he's at. Rampage looking to dig in with some more body shots. You get hit to the body in the right place, as we've seen in prior fights. Look at a body shot will put you down. Aaron Pico, two body shots and his second pro win earlier tonight. Again, not much going on, but for Chael, this is good. For Quinton, Quinton needs to start to move. He needs to start to separate. He needs to start to either throw in elbows or continue to throw those body shots go, inside, but he stay cannot there, stay with what he's doing. Chael Sonnen has not lost a decision in close to 15 years. 17 and 1. Lifetime in fights to go the distance. Blake Grice breaks them. They are in the center of the cage. This is Rampage's opportunity. That's Rampage throwing them off. That's good fighting by Rampage. Smart, smart and chill to try to close that distance. Big swing and a miss. That yeah, big swing and a miss will take the gas right out of you. Quinn's trying, he's going after him. Now he knows that he needs to land a shot that's going to hurt you. And it doesn't matter if he's only the time to come towards you. <laughs> Two legends of the sport. Come on, guys, let's fight! fight. You know what he's trying to do. No, he's Absolutely. But why he's trying to do it, John, the, the seconds keep ticking down. My dad used to tell me, never play another man's game. And Chell is doing exactly what my dad would tell him. Don't play his game, you fight your fight. It's a good body shot a moment ago by Rampage. Over under middle of the cage here. Time ticking away on fight one of our heavyweight Grand Prix. There goes Chell, that inside trip again. Look at that's just years of wrestling and knowing, hey, if I drive enough, you watched how he turned the corner with it, that's why it worked. And right before he did so, Rampage put his foot on Chael's foot, trying to make him a bit immobile, but Son and able to counter and put him on his back again. Did, did exactly what he needed to do for him to try to win this fight. Let's go, guys. That's smart Let's fighting. You cannot blame Chael Sonnen for anything he's done in this fight. It's been a very intelligent fight from an intelligent fighter. Been trying to open up. Time's running out. He's got to move. He's got to scramble. He's got to do something quick. Let's go, guys. Work. This has been a superb fight by Chell. You can sit there and not like it. Ref referee's involved in himself yeah. now. And Chell has to so. work. Final seconds of this three-round fight. They go the distance. Hey, gentlemen, well done. My pleasure to be here with you.
Tonight's fight replay brought to you by Blackheart Premium Spiced Rum. The Bolt 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core. Look at that position that Sale John and Dick. There is a beautiful inside trip. I mean, when you're looking at how to do something, he's doing great things. Rampage trying to go after him at the end of that fight. Hits him with a big shot, but not enough. Time runs out on him. The official decision is in. Here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your judges at cage side. Brian Miner, Michael Bell, Rod McCarthy, all scored exactly the same 29 to 28 for the winner by unanimous decision now. Advancing in the heavyweight world Grand Prix Chill, the American Gangster. Big John McCarthy. With Chael Sonnen, the winner by unanimous decision. Chael, you just fought a bigger guy. You went and told everyone, yeah, it's not the big guy you got to worry about. It's a fast guy. I think you just proved that. How did that fight go for you? God made six billion men, and none of them are as tough as Chael Sonnen. Frank Mir and Fedor Emelianenko. Boys, neither one of you is the best, but one of you is next. I gotta know, if you get a chance, which one do you want to fight? Because it's your first day on the job, Chair will stick around, John. I have no preference. I got the biggest arms, I got the greatest charm, and I do all the harm. Doesn't matter who you fight. One-on-one, -on -one, two-on-one, or five-on-one, I'll make them all need nine-one-one. All right, guys. Been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times. I want you to take yourselves at all times. You want to touch gloves? Do it now. You want to touch gloves? Okay, back <laughs> to the corners, guys. Second question was the same as the first question, and yes, they did touch gloves. Fedor Emelianenko has only gone to the judges' scorecards two times in the last 18 fights. He has never lost a decision. Are you ready? Chael yeah, Sonnen right. looking go, to take him down and beat him up. Here we go! Tonight's fight for Big shot! He's hard middle leg. Great taste and only 96 calories. Chael yeah. Sonnen has now tasted the power of Fedor Emelianenko. Another shot. Big shot. Immediately thrown by Fedor. Those shots are going to slow down those takedown attempts. When you're getting nailed, you don't want to come in again. Boom. And the takedown attempt hasn't worked yet, but it does now. But look at this. And that's the Sambo of Fedor Emelianenko. This is what people don't understand. He is a phenomenal grappler. Fedor, 15 wins by submission, 13 wins by knockout. One of the things that used to happen in Pride, Fedor had some of the best ground and pound we have ever seen. He has turned into a stand-up fighter, doesn't even seem to want to fight on the ground anymore. Look at that. This is not good for Chael Sonnen. Chael this keeps coming Frank, back. Yep, this is what Frank and Josh talked about. If Chael can't take him down, this fight could be very short. It could, but I'm telling you, this is what makes Chael Sonnen who he is. He is a gangster when it comes to he does not quit. Look at that takedown. Look at him going after it. He will not stop. He will continue to press until you put him down. That was not a smart move. Big Good shots shot. from Fedor. Looking to finish it right here, right now. Chael is sticking with it, but Chael made a big, what he did is he tried to hook in and roll Fedor over to get his back. It didn't work for him. It was an attempt at something. I give him credit for trying, but you got to be careful when you're working with Fedor. The explosiveness of Fedor Emelianenko on display prominently here early in this fight. 
We were talking earlier about positioning and where Chael needed to be. Fedor keeps getting to those positions that Chael wants to be in. 24 first round finishes for Fedor Emelianenko. Chael is pressing the action. You can see Fedor is breathing a little bit. A little bit of a rush, a little bit of adrenaline high. He's breathing hard and Chael's got this takedown. That is Chael's son in 101 right there. It is, and he's in the position he needs to be to do damage to Fedor. This half guard position is a great position for Chael Sonnen right now. So far, Fedor doing a good job of controlling the posture of Chael Sonnen. And he continues to do so. I think both fighters are trying to settle themselves down, grab some air, just get their heart rate going where they're comfortable so they can start to open up and attack again. Absolutely, Big Johnny, a frenetic pace to the start of this fight. Big shot landed immediately by Fedor. He had Chael down, beating him up, and now Chael Sonnen on top. Nice move by Chael to get to that mount. Wow. This is where, on the ground, in this position, Fedor can be dangerous. He is a ground and pound master when he decides to go for it. At the very top of the show, we talked about a similar type of attack for Chael as we saw from Ryan Bader, but with some twists and some big punches. That was a big right, right hand. Step through. Big right hand that Fedor landed on Chael. Chael is hanging tough. Look what I see out of him right now. He's you got move. Shots. Looking to finish right here, right now. He's not being hurt, but he's right got to move when Dan tells him to move. Oh, and it's all over. Bader, a million and go. Won't fight Ryan Bader for the heavyweight world championship. Twenty-fifth first round finish, 12th John by knockout. Watch the hands here. Left hand comes up straight into the jaw of Chael Sonnen, but he he weathered the storm on all of them. He got hit early, he got hit hard, but he kept pressing forward, going after the takedowns. It just wasn't meant to be for him to stay on top of Fedor. This is a position loses control. I understand what he was trying to do and snap Fedor over with him. It didn't work for him. He ended up taking some shots for it. And here, what we're seeing is Fedor landing those shots, and Chael is not responding. You hear Dan Mergelot tell him, you got to move. Show me something. And there's nothing happening, and that's why the fight ends. The last emperor will fight once again for a world championship. It will come in January inside the forum.
Fedor is certainly far from finished. A masterful performance, a first round TKO over Chael Sun, and to make it official, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Four minutes, 46 seconds into round number one by TKO. He advances to the finals of the Bellator Heavyweight World Grand Prix, the last emperor, Victor! The GOAT looked great tonight. Here is Big John. I am here with the winner, Fedor Amelienko. Fedor, you guys came out and started bombing. You hit Chael Sonnen with some big shots, but he kept responding. Were you surprised by him continuing to go after you and push you in this fight? Федор, вы показали беспримерный бой, и вы обрушили ряд ударов очень сильных на Чейла Сонана. Но были ли вы удивлены, как он противостоял и все-таки пытался вам ответить? Да, Чейл, Чейл очень хорошо работал, грамотно старался смещаться с линии, так вот очень на молодец, хорошо готовился, видно. Чейл worked really very hard, and it shows that he did prepared very well. How tired was he getting from all of that activity and going after Chael and throwing big bombs? Was he getting a little winded in the middle of that round? Насколько измотал вас Чел? Насколько вы устали, пытаясь достать Чела своими ударами? Нет, ну слава богу, все хорошо. Еще можно работать. Thanks God, I'm not tired and still can be working. I'm sure he watched the fight last night, seeing Ryan Bader advance to the finals along with him now. How, is he, how does he feel about facing a guy like Ryan Bader? He is a great and very strong fighter. I did have the opportunity to watch him during the open workout, and I can see that he is very great and very serious opponent. Well, I just want to tell you congratulations on an, a very impressive win. Congratulations on moving on to the finals of the Bellator Heavyweight Grand Prix and getting a chance at that Bellator Heavyweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, the last emperor, Fedor Emelianko. Outstanding again tonight. Let's get One of back my to fav John. Favorite people to be able to talk to in this world is standing next to me, and I thought he gave an incredible performance tonight against Fedor Chael. How are you feeling right now? I know you're disappointed, but how are you feeling? Yeah, he uh, he hurt me early. Every, everything he did hurt. Everything had bad intentions. And I was trying to recover, and I was, I was, uh, I was kind of drowning out there. But um, I was impressed. He was very fast. He was very powerful. Looked like he looked when I watched him on TV, but I could feel it. Well, I tell you what, you put on a performance, and the pressure that you put. Let me ask you about one technique that you tried. You got his back, and you tried to pull him over, and that didn't work for you. Is that what was one of the things that led to you having a problem in the end of this fight? Yeah, I, I had his chin tucked. I thought I could roll him and maybe go for a, like a rear naked position. My hips were a little too high. I couldn't bear him. I used to do that move in college a lot, uh, but he ducked his Oh, those punches hurt. Can you tell that hurts, John? I can tell that that hurts. He, was, he had some good power. Yeah, I look for him and Bader is going to be a great fight. Well, I'll tell you what, I want to congratulate you on an incredible performance. You have conducted yourself like a champion, and that is what you are, Chael Sonnen. Gentlemen, we have the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you wish to touch gloves, do so now. Step back. So here we go. Action in the Bellator MMA light heavyweight division. Chael Sonnen looking to avenge the Team Quest losses. Ready. Incurred Ready. By Randy Ready. Couture Dan Henderson to the other Machida. As we begin round one, Machida in the red gloves. Sun into the blue gloves, and as expected, Sun immediately going after Machida. Changes levels, looking for the takedown early. Great job, Archer, to get himself into the other. Got himself 
said that any damage, that's the pressure that he needs to bring throughout this fight. Here's a, an incredible stat. The sudden is Vegeta's seventh straight lefty of <laughs> and, and he's 4 3 against those lefties. But this is the problem for Chad. Can he give up against the cage? The other is very difficult to break down. And he's got that cage for a balance point. Chad's got to do some nifty work inside of here. Nice inside trip to the ass and chain those techniques together. Yes, sir. Breathe. Deep breath. 
Take a deep breath, man. Water, water. Right. There you go. All right. Here's the shot. Big body kick. Oh. That hurt Jim. Right, Never sir. seen He's walking through it. But he got to win that round. And then he steps in. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Referee Todd Anderson steps in, waves off the contest due to unanswered strikes officially. 22 seconds into round number two. The winner by TKO, Leonco, the Dragon, Machida. I'm here with your winner, Leona Machida. Congratulations on an outstanding performance against Chael Sonnen tonight. At 41 years of age, you have changed your style back again. You've become that elusive karate fighter. How did you feel about your performance here tonight? I felt, I felt really good tonight. I really appreciate Chael for coming over here and fighting to me. Chael is a true, true gentleman guy. Please give a hand to Chael Sonnen, people. He deserves. When you landed that first knee, are you shocked that Chael made it through being able to survive the rest of that round? So I didn't expect Chael made it. He made it. He, he are really tough. He tough because I put my knee really strong, but he could do it. Really nice. So I want to say thank you all my team. Thank you my, my sponsor on private internet access for everything. In watching video of Chael coming into this fight, did you notice that he had a tendency to take his head and to bring it to the left anytime something came at him? Definitely. Me and my team, we study a lot, child's style. So I want to say thank you my coach Vinicius Anthony, my brother Shinzo, my physical therapist Angelo and Guto Demensky too, and my friends Fabrizio Verdun. He helped me a lot for this camp too. Henry Grace, hello guys. Rafael Cordero, Kings, everybody. Thank you. Well, that was an incredibly impressive performance. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Leona the Dragon Machida. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Chael Sonnen. Chael, you came back after that knee. It was incredible because, I mean, we thought there was no way you are going to make it out of that round. You gutted it out. You got all the way to the end of the... How were you feeling at the end of that first round? Oh, I appreciate it. I'm going to be honest with you, John. I probably lost that first round. <laughs> and I know that was a real tit for tat battle, but I think it went to Lieto. Listen, I got one thing to say. I had a hell of a lot of fun. I had a good run. Scott Coker gave me a five fight deal. He let me honor all five fights. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm walking out. I appreciate the memories and goodbye. I want to tell you personally, thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for the way you've handled yourself. And thank you for building MMA the way you have. Ladies and gentlemen, the American gangster, Chael P. Sonnen. <laughs>